What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. Today we're going to be working on a street address numbering illuminated box thing. This box was inspired by the last two signs, the LED signs that I've done. And I was thinking, it's like, oh, I live in a really dark neighborhood. Maybe having some like illuminated numbers might be a good idea. And so that's where this idea came from. The plan is to cut this box out of a few different materials. So there'll be MDF, there'll be acrylic, and then I'm not sure on what the actual box will be made out of. Maybe uh, half inch plywood, but the, everything will be sealed and with silicone and then it will be stained, painted, primed. I'm not sure yet, but it needs to be mostly waterproof uh, because this will be outside, though I think I'm going to mount it underneath the eaves of my house and so I think it will stay relatively dry but I still need to think long term in regards to waterproof. We need to sketch it, prototype it, build it in easel, and cut it out. See what it looks like. So let's get to that. Hopefully, I mean, you know, who knows what problems we encounter but we're gonna do our best. Let's go. Alrighty, so I have stripped out the solar-powered LED porch light system from its housing. Um, I was able to keep all of the LEDs attached along with the circuit board and the little battery and everything like that. I haven't quite thought through how exactly it's all going to be assembled, but here's the basic premise. So I'm going to have the numbers. I am going to have white acrylic backing uh, these numbers, just like I've done with my previous uh, boxes. And then the lights will be mounted on the inside, and I think the solar will be on the very top here. On the sides, I'm not going to do an inlay. Uh, this is going to be a groove panel to where this uh, the front piece will actually just slide into it. I'm going to try and make this a little more waterproof because it will be outside. But we'll see how it goes. But that is the premise of the design is there will be a box. There will be the cutouts, and then I'll have white acrylic behind this, and the light will shine through. So, I think we might have something here. So while cutting this out, what I did was in easel, I added tabs to the inner uh, the inner components of the different numbers so that they didn't go flying in other places. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean up the tabs here on the main body. And then I'm going to leave the tab on the 8 and the 0 uh, just so I don't lose anything because you know that's always bound to happen. You, you know exactly where it is and then you lose it. So let's get this thing cleaned up. After looking through my material that I have available to me, uh, I got this 2 by material that um, I think I'm going to go full on rustic and it's going to look natural, slightly incomplete, um, but I think that I'm yeah, going to do the square box sides uh, with, this, uh, with these numbers and I'm going to cut a groove both in the inside and the top where this piece will sit uh, in that groove. Kind of like so. And yeah, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my table saw. And this has a routed, uh, curved edge at the moment. I think I'm going to flatten off these two edges um, and make it so that instead of having a curved uh, sides, we're going to make flat. So let's get to cutting. Okay, okay. All right. Look at that. Nice. Let's go ahead and pull these staples out. There's one. And oh, there's 
There's three in this one. There we go. All right. So now. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. So now I just need to mark it and do a couple more cuts. Yeah, this might look a little chunky. Um, we might have to redesign this. I don't know. Alright, let's put the side piece on. I think I'm gonna have to cut it and then see what it looks like. Okay, let's see, let's see. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm not hating on it. Hmm. Is it gonna look too big, too small? What should we thinking? I don't know. That might look kind of cool. Just a box picture frame. Yeah, I think we're gonna roll with it. I mean, we'll always we can always make another. Uh, but at the moment, yeah. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a groove in this piece and this piece um, to fit the MDF. And yeah, then it should slide right in here like so. And we should be able to get rid of that seam. So let's go cut it out. I got to show you this groove. Okay, so it was off by just a hair. But look at this. The MDF clears out its own groove. Look at that. And it just... Boop, just slides right in. Boop. Oh, that's beautiful. So let's get these slots cleared up, and uh, yeah, and and then we'll assemble this thing, or at least pre-assemble this thing. What do you think? I'm actually not half bad. Uh, the groove on the top is a little deep, and so I'm gonna have to like space it out just a hair uh, to make sure that you can see all of the numbers there. Uh, the groove on the bottom is perfect, but I think I, I like the the box the way the way it is. So I, I think I'm gonna keep it, and we're just gonna keep assembling and see what happens. Okay, what I've not figured out yet, before I start putting this thing together, is how all of my electronics are going to work. So, I have the solar cell, I have the light sensor and con function control button, I have the lights themselves, and the battery. So the battery and the lights themselves will be inside, obviously. But the question is... Where does the solar cell, I thought the solar cell should go on top, um, but then where do the buttons go? Maybe I just mount those, no it can't go on the back because the back will be against the wall. Um, so I should put them off to the side, but if I put them off to the side, then I need to rewire some of these things. Because... Yes. Or do I want them off the top? I don't want to rewire the whole thing. Hmm. Maybe I want them off the bottom. Like so.
I'm not sure. Well, regardless, let me go ahead and cut out the piece of acrylic that will go behind this. Uh, so I already have that done. And then we will continue on with the designing. So let's get this piece of acrylic cut out. Yay! <laughs> oh man, I guess you guys just saw my little snafu there. Uh, apparently I hit down uh, on the Z axis like three times and while it was on one inch and it drove itself into the acrylic even bending everything a little bit. Um, Oh, man, so... Mmm. That wasn't supposed to happen. Really not sure why, but this particular like build has been giving me so much trouble like this carve on this piece of acrylic and the carve that I did for the MDF and the cut and everything like it um I I don't know I've been having trouble with the X carve you saw me plunge the bit right into the acrylic and then I I don't know what I'm doing it it's it's bad I guess <laughs> I'm getting lazy or uh careless I need to be paying more attention because uh, I don't want to hurt my machine but mm, it, it's been one of those days What do you think? Um, still tons of refining to do, but not terrible. Not terrible. I keep saying that. Why can't I just say it's good? It looks good. It looks awesome, guys, doesn't it? Um, I mean, definitely there's cleanup to do on the MDF, and there's assembling to do, and we need to figure out how the heck we're going to do all the electronics. But there's hope. There's a vision. And I need to think about how this is going to be completed. So there might be a part two to this. Um, let me do some thinking. But that's what we're doing. Well, there you have it, guys. That is, I'm going to say, part one of a two-part build to get this address number shadow box LED illuminated thing uh, completed. I think I need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what in the world I'm going to do for the electronics, exactly where I'm going to place them and how I'm going to do all that. But I think we made some good progress today. So thank you so much for joining in and stay tuned for part two as we uh, figure out what the heck we're doing with this number plate thing. And yeah, hopefully uh, I will have it completed in the next episode and we will go from there. So thanks guys. Catch you later.